Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to talk about filament erosion on your 3D printer, specifically uh, in regards to your nozzle and your PTFE Bowden tube, if you, your machine does use those. Um, before we get into this, if you would, please click that like and subscribe button, and if you have time, leave a quick comment. Those three things do a lot to boost uh, this channel in the YouTube algorithm. It doesn't boost small creators like myself like it used to. So those are some very easy things you can do to help me out if you appreciate these videos and everything that I do for the community. All right, let's get into this. Uh, nozzle erosion. Let's start here. Um, what we have here are two standard Mark 8 nozzles like are used on the Ender 3 and Ender 3 V2 and the Neo and such. On the left is a 0.4 millimeter that is brand new. On the right is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle that is roughly four months old. And you can see that the nozzle aperture has eroded to a larger diameter. This will affect print quality. Also, as that nozzle erodes, uh, it becomes less smooth inside and that can also uh, cause problems with uh, feeding of the filament, extruding the filament, and create potential clogs. So this is something you really do need to be aware of. Um, a lot of people don't realize that melted filament can erode a brass nozzle, and it can. You're seeing it right here. Um, as I said, I this is about four months old uh, for me, and I print at least five days a week on this machine. Um, if you're not printing that often, you can probably get away with changing your nozzle and Bowden tube out every six months or so. But you are going to want to do it on a regular basis. Get on that schedule. Um, PTFE Bowden tubes, they're very slick. That's why they're selected for this. They don't cause any resistance when the filament is being fed through them. But again, that filament can erode the interior of that Bowden tube down and it gets rough and that will cause some um, uh, resistance when you're trying to feed that filament in or perform a retraction. So that will affect your print quality. So when you tear the hot end apart um, to change out the nozzle and change out the Bowden uh, and such and clean it out, you've already got the Bowden tube removed. It's a perfect time to go ahead and replace that too. And that's why I always buy uh, uh, these uh, large multi-packs of tubes and couplers together. It's really cheap. Um, you get enough for about 10 changes for about $10. So that's not bad if you're only doing it a few times a year. It's just a couple dollars to put all fresh parts on, including the coupler. And those couplers do wear out over time. Um, there's a lot of stress on it uh, when you do the retractions. It's wanting to move that tube upward. So those little teeth in the coupler are either being pushed downward when the filament is pushed down or they're being pushed upwards, pulled upwards when the filament is retracting. So again, if you're doing this every four, five, six months, go ahead and replace that coupler. They're not expensive. Um, I'm maintaining over on my website, fatdragongames.com, a list of recommended parts and tools for 3D printing. Um, but I'm going to have that page linked above and in the video description, but it's just a range of things from the PTFE tubing I like, the couplers I like, uh, nozzles, tube cutters, uh, tools for changing uh, the nozzle out, the filaments that I like to use, uh, my favorite LED lights and stuff, just, just a range of things. And um, one thing I really do recommend people get that most people don't have is an inexpensive pair of digital calipers. You can get these for anywhere from about $10 to $20, depending if you want to go with plastic or metal. Um, but these are really nice for testing the accuracy of your printer and seeing if there's a mechanical issue starting to uh, present itself. Uh, like a loose belt or something. So it's nice to run a test cube every once in a while, measure all three dimensions, X, Y, and Z, and just make sure your printer is doing what it's supposed to. So as I said, link above and the link in the video description, go to that page on my website with uh, recommended links for your 3D printer. If you would check that out, I'd appreciate it. Also, please click that like and subscribe button. Thank you.